I'm going to show you how to create a video tutorial on a Mac. You don't have to download anything. All you need is Apple's built-in QuickTime player. I'll pretend I don't have QuickTime player running yet, but obviously it's what I'm using to record this tutorial. You can find it in your launchpad, which is Mac's equivalent of the start menu. To start recording your video tutorial, just select File and New Screen Recording. It's disabled right now since I'm already using it to record this tutorial. After you click New Screen Recording, you'll see the Screen Recording window. In the screen recording window is a red record button. Click on it and you'll be asked to do one of two things. Either click once anywhere on the screen to record the entire screen or drag your mouse over part of the screen to record only that part of the screen. After this, recording will start and the red record button will turn into a black stop button. Don't worry, the screen recording window won't show up in the recording. To stop the recording, click the stop button. The new movie will be saved in your movies folder. In creating tutorials, I also find it useful to use screenshots. For example, I've had to show you screenshots of the screen recording window because it doesn't show up in the recording. There are several ways to take a screenshot on a Mac. Pressing Command, Shift, and 3 together takes a screenshot of the whole screen and saves it to your desktop as an image file. The easiest way to do this is to hold down the command key with your left forefinger, then hold down the shift key with your left middle finger, then press 3 with your right hand. Pressing command shift and 4 together. Then dragging your mouse over an area of the screen takes a screenshot of that area. Pressing Command, Shift, and 4 together, then pressing space, then clicking on a window creates a screenshot of that window like this. Unfortunately, this won't work while I'm recording this tutorial. I'll have to take the screenshot before I start recording. Let me show you. Adding the control button to the button combinations mentioned earlier, for example, pressing Control, Command, Shift, and 3 together allows you to save the image in memory, also known as the clipboard, instead of the desktop. This is useful if you wish to quickly paste it into a picture editor. I understand teachers don't have much free time, so I'm using a text editor instead of a tool for creating subtitles to make things easier. My text editor's font size used to be a lot smaller when I first got my Mac. To increase your text editor's font size, click Format, Font, and Bigger. Or just press the Command and Plus keys together. To reverse the process, 
press command and minus to move down through your text one page at a time press function and down together press command and up to immediately move to the top of the text and command and down to go to the bottom finally resize and position your text editor as desired If QuickTime Player isn't recording your voice, it's probably a settings issue. The screen recording window has a small inverted triangle that pops out into a menu. Open it and make sure that the microphone setting is set to internal microphone. My next video will be about how to use iMovie to edit out mistakes from your video tutorials. Thanks for listening.